Russia invaded Ukraine on Thursday, February 24th, signs of significant battle damage to its tanks have surfaced across social media and news networks. A U.S. military aid package worth $60 million arrived in Ukraine on June 16th. It included Javelin anti-tank missiles and other military aid. Another $350 million in military assistance was greenlighted by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken Saturday, February 26th. According to Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, Ukraine has dealt Russian forces a heavy blow. As of Friday at 3 p.m. local time, Ukraine claims to have destroyed the following. At least 80 tanks, 516 armored combat vehicles of various types, 10 aircraft, 7 helicopters, and 2,800 special staff. Russian tanks and their reactive armor, or javelin shields, won't stand up to a javelin missile or the similar British NLAW. Reactive armor is meant to block shaped charges, but it can't keep all of the projectile from piercing the top turret armor. The tops of Russian tank turrets, as on most other tanks, are much thinner than other areas of the tank. Even though the explosive reactive armor may stop some of a javelin's penetrating blast, it won't stop all of it. Russian T-72 and T-64 tanks, like the ones seen crossing Ukraine's borders, store their ammo underneath the turrets. So when an armor-piercing round like the javelin ignites the stored ammo, the turret will go flying. Javelins have a top attack setting, meaning they can be set to strike a tank in its weakest spot, the top turret. And javelin missiles rarely miss. According to Lockheed Martin, the producer of javelin missiles, javelins boast a 94% hit rate, with a firing range of 65 to 4,000 meters, or about 70 yards to nearly 2.5 miles. Javelins also soft launch. There's no smoke trail to show the launch location or dirt cloud kicked up by missile backblast. From the time of launch, a tank crew has maybe 10 to 12 seconds to try to evade the missile, but with the launch location remaining out of sight, there's little chance of evasion. There are two things a tank crew doesn't want to face in the open, javelins and unchallenged air support. With Ukraine receiving javelins and other guided anti-tank missiles and its air force still flying in some areas, Ukraine boasts a formidable anti-tank force.